Friday, August 30th, 2019, and I am in Unit 3 of Colorado looking for a pronghorn. I spent about the last day and a half driving around glass and walking around glass and looking for water holes. And one of the only ones that I found is literally 30 yards from a BLM road, so hopefully there won't be a lot of traffic. I did see quite a few antelope within a mile of this water hole. Unfortunately, I took off on a one mile walk one way to find a dry water hole and about a half a mile the other direction to another dry water hole so um, there's a good water tank here and then there's also a solar solar tank so there's plenty of water in this spot um, not going to be overly picky I'm hoping to be able to loosen air with my TS custom precision traditional that my good buddy Travis Siebertson made for me. It's a beautiful bow. I have yet to make a traditional harvest, so that's kind of the goal if a buck will come close enough.
buddy, my buddy Travis made this bow for me. And I tried last year and I missed. And I, and I tried with a deer and I missed. And I'm sitting here in Colorado right now and I have been practicing more. And I, you know, I'm just ecstatic. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just shot a beautiful antelope with a recurve and I let's go see him I apologize for the shaking at that beautiful muzzy head look at that I cannot believe this. Let's go see him. This antelope did not make it 50 yards. <laughs> oh. Travis. Thank you. Thank you for making this. This buck. I have never been prouder. My first ever traditional harvest. Public land, Colorado, unit three. I'm just stoked. Look at that. I have really been missing out not doing more of this. I finally set up set up the, the blind this afternoon and I thought well you know if I get a buck to come in I'm not gonna care you know how big or how old it is if it's close enough I want to take it with the recurve but, you know I need to I need to try to draw draw the recurve I need to, to see make sure you know top and bottom limbs and, and all that so that I so that I don't hit the blind again which I've done a few times in the past trying the traditional gear and I picked up the recurve I moved it around the camera <laughs> I'm not kidding I turned to the water I was just getting ready to draw and there were two does there I didn't even see him before I grabbed the boat you know he, he milled around a little bit and I thought you know and he's facing me and I'm like ah, I can't take that shot because he'll go off and I thought you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait and move the camera around a little bit and by gosh if he didn't give me a broadside shot I brought the the Travis Severson the TS custom precision to full draw I looked down the arrow I got to my anchor point and I let it go and I thought man that's a perfect hit and this antelope is not 50 yards from where I shot it and I'm just I'm ecstatic thank you Travis I am I'm beyond blessed